It was an interesting Saturday in the Pittsburgh Penguins universe. Hi, I'm Dan Kingerski on the Pittsburgh Hockey Now and the National Hockey Now YouTube channel. So here's how it kind of breaks down. I thought Kyle Dubas really sort of opened the vault, pulled back the curtain a little bit on his plans, both this offseason and what we're going to see with the Pittsburgh Penguins, their trade hopes, uh, activity over the next couple of years. Real quickly, uh, Dubas speaking at the NHL uh, Combine in Buffalo, spoke to NHL.com on Saturday morning. I know you're like, King Gursky, why aren't you there? It's actually a bit of a break from tradition. Dubas being the first Penguins GM to speak at the Combine that I can remember, quite frankly. I This might be a, a first, at least in the uh, decade or, or so, that I've been floating around here. So... Uh, you know, we weren't there. We're, we're gearing up for the draft, but, uh, Dubas did speak to the league, uh, or the league's media source. And, uh, here is what he said. Let me pull up the quote for you because I, I think it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's significant. The major focus for us is on right now, acquiring as many young players, as many prospects and as many draft picks as we can to try to infuse the team with really good young talent and then have that stocked up for the future as well as attempt to get us back into contention as quickly as we can. That was uh, that was, was Kyle Dubas on Saturday morning. Basically what he is saying is the Penguins are going to acquire picks. He used the word urgently. In other parts of his interview, they are doing this as urgently as they can for this reason. They want the young kids, the prospects, the draft picks, even uh, the prospects transitioning to the NHL, like those right on the cusp, like uh, Vasily Ponomarev, whom they acquired in the Jake Gensel trade. They want these players to be around Sidney Crosby, Chris Letang, Brian Rust, Eric Carlson. They want these guys to be introduced to the Penguins' culture, to Sidney Crosby and how he approaches the game, how he attacks his off-season workouts, how he attacks playing every shift to his maximum potential, all of those things that can only benefit a young player. They want that Sidney Crosby rub-off. And you can't get that Sidney Crosby uh, influence by waiting until Sidney Crosby, Chris Letang, Evgeny Malkin are done. So Dubas is doing that now while kind of holding the line. Because look, I knew this was going to happen. The very first thing that uh, folks said on social media, my ex replies were filled up as soon as we published that article. Yes, the Penguins are going to trade this veteran. They're going to trade Tristan Jari. They're going to do all of these. No, No, hang on. Drawing a line here. Understand they are still trying to win now. So they're not going to trade Tristan Jari for this reason. One, he's their starting goalie. So whatever you would recoup in a trade for Jari, you would have to spend that and more to get yourself another starting goalie. In six months, let's say mid-season, let's say at the trade deadline or next summer, if Joel Blomquist proves himself ready and capable, then we have this Tristan Jari conversation in the same way we had the Matt Murray conversation, in the same way we had the Marc-Andre Fleury conversation. But you can't have it too soon because the Penguins aren't going to stink. They, they haven't yet got Sidney Crosby's name on a new contract, for one. And for two, they're not going to disrespect him by tearing down the team around him. That's not what Duba said. Okay? Understand the difference. They're going to... Everybody else is kind of fair game outside the Penguins' core, but they're also not going to take a step back that means they have to rebuild for two, three, four years because then you've lost the final years of Sidney Crosby. So Dubas still has that tightrope to walk, the one in which Ron Hextall fell off. 
Hextall, for various reasons, uh, didn't tow that or didn't walk that that very narrow line, didn't thread the needle very well at all. Dubas, I, I a lot of people are upset with the Jake Gensel trade, but take a look. Um, Michael Bunting helped the Penguins lineup. They do have three decent prospects. They're not top-tier prospects. Don't confuse Ponomarev, uh, Vili uh, Koivunin, and Cruz Lucius as top-tier prospects. But they have three more that they didn't have. And if one hits, well, it, it's, a, it's a good deal for the Penguins. So that's where we stand on Saturday. This is kind of a little quick hit, one-issue wonder video that we're going to pop on YouTube and maybe even on uh, Facebook while the other guys are enjoying a sunny Saturday. Well, you and I are having this conversation. So I uh, will, of course, do the live chat on Wednesday, 12 noon, as we always do. Uh, also, I guess it's two weeks. We will be in Vegas for the final in-person NHL draft being held at the sphere and you know i'll be chasing down everybody i possibly can there to find out a bit more all things considered uh i know it's been a long off season already it seems like it's been forever since the penguins played a game but take i mean realize how close we are now to dominoes beginning to fall that's why dubas is at the combine he's pressing the flesh he's shaking hands he's continuing he's beginning maybe he's ending a few conversations. What we get, the news we get out of the next uh, week or so could be uh, really interesting. We could see some veteran trades for draft picks. I guess the one thing we can confirm is we're not going to see draft pick trades for veterans, which, in fact, uh, given Dubas's summer of 2023 in which he sent a one and a two in the Eric Carlson deal, would be a dramatic departure for the Penguins. So uh, on the YouTube channel, like, comment, subscribe. Let's have some fun. I'm Dan Kingerski on the National Hockey Now and the Pittsburgh Hockey Now YouTube channel.